to Jesus. Praise be to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. Yes. Bible tells us, in the beginning, God created man and woman in his own image. That's right. And same Bible tells us, man and woman choose to sin against God. Yeah. While God made man and woman in his own image, image of God is broken soon after man and woman choose to sin against God. Right. Yet we look at the same scripture and same scripture, scripture tells us God gives us the solution. Right. Solution to put image of God together. Solution to bring break the separation down. Yeah. Solution is Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. Bible tells us the word of God came and dwelled among us. Yeah. And the word of God died on the cross so that man and woman can have eternal life. Amen. Approximately 33 AD, Lord Jesus Christ laid his life down for man and woman to be reconciled with God. Yeah. Because you all know, I know, we are not. No. We are not nice people. No. It is only God who is good. No. And with the blood of Jesus, Jesus makes us good enough for God. Yeah. When we, when we look at the cross of Christ, when we see what Lord Jesus Christ did on the cross for us, mm. we repent from our sins. That's right. And we are seen in God's eyes as people who are reconciled who are redeemed. So, therefore, Lord Jesus Christ deserves all the praises. Yes. Praise be to Him. Praise be to Jesus. Today, we want to talk about another person, another person, <laughs> another person, which approximately 1.84 billion Muslims are following. He is identified as Muhammad, prophet of Islam. While Islam teaches every human being must worship Allah alone, yet we look at the teachings of Muhammad and we see today Muslims are worshiping Muhammad alongside of Allah. There is a problem with that and we are going to break that up for you. Yeah, that's right. So we want to look at why is it, I mean, majority of the Muslims here today are going to be doing something called Dawah. In other words, they're going to be calling you to Islam. Now, one of the things that they propagate is a word called Taweed. In other words, they're saying, well, um, there's only one God and you should worship him and Muhammad is his prophet. But then when we see the problem about Islam is when you strip down beneath the layers, beneath the surface, and you look at it for what it is, they claim one God, but when you look at it, they have more than one God. And we want to talk about that today. When they give Dawah, do they call us to worship one God? Or are they actually calling us, in actual fact, to worship two gods or more? And so we want to look at that in terms of Muhammad. Because when we, look, when we read through the Islamic sources, through the Quran, through the Hadith, the Tafsirs and the Sirah, we see that Muslims are commanded to pray directly to Muhammad. Does any Muslim have a problem praying to Muhammad? Any Muslims here? Where's the Muslims at? Can we, can we have a, a response from a Muslim? Okay, the Muslims are... Are you a Muslim, sir? You don't want to be... Okay. Well, we want to we, we wanna know why is it that Muslims are praying to Muhammad, a dead man who died 14 almost uh, 1400 years ago that we look at so there is a problem with that yes muslims pray five times a day yes thanks to moses without moses you would be praying 50 times a day yes moses helped you help muhammad out to bring the prayers five times a day in your five times prayer a day you do 17 record of the prayer and in your records after the search time in the Tashahud, you speak to Muhammad while you are praying to Allah. That is shirk, Muslims. You know that better than me. According to you, Allah is the only one who deserves all worships. 
And in your prayer, you do speak to Muhammad. There is a problem with that. How can you speak to Muhammad? Why do you speak to Muhammad? We look at the Islamic tradition and we see it was the idea of Muhammad to encourage Muslims to pray and pray on him, send people's blessings and greetings on him. And Islamic tradition even tells us Muhammad wanted you to do that even though he was in the grave. That means even though when, when he was dead, which you practice today Muslims, brother can we look at the hadith of that? Yes, let's look at that. So, we're looking at Muhammad, the second god of Islam. <laughs> All right, so um, let me just bring this up for you. Right. So the hadith. So I read. I read the first one, yeah. Um, or should I go? Sh I talked about uh, the one in the grave. The one in the grave. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna read this. So. Um, I was sitting. Can you read it from the beginning? Sorry. So I got it right from the beginning, yeah? It's Allah. It's not okay. Allah. Allah is instructing the sinners when they commit a sin to come to the messenger of Allah and ask for forgiveness. So we're taking this from Surah 6, sorry, Surah 4, 64. So if you read the context, Surah um, 464 through to 465, I'm sure you've read this, Abbas. Abbas, don't hide. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can you tell us why do you pray to Muhammad? We want to know. Us? We're still asking why you pray to Muhammad. Yes, we're asking because we haven't got an answer. You pray to Muhammad, all right? You, you pray to Muhammad. You, you think it's boring? You think it's boring to pray to Muhammad? So you pray to Muhammad. Okay. Okay. Abbas, in your prayers, yeah. which is supposed to go to Allah, do you speak to that person? We speak to Muhammad. We don't speak to. We address him. We not you address a dead speak person. To Muhammad yeah, yeah. by saying address, peace yeah. be upon you, our prophet. Do you say that? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. say so? You say that you that speak to not, that person. That does not apply. That we worship it. Speaking to somebody doesn't mean worship. If you see the whole thing. When do you speak to him? Okay. When do you speak to him? Sorry, why? When? Where? When? When? When we do salah. So when you do your salah, educate me. What is salah? Prayer. Salah so when you do your oh, prayer, with the words. when you do your prayers five words. times a day, in your prayers, you speak to a dead person. So, so Abbas, correct me if I'm wrong. It's part of your prayer. So you answer on my behalf. No, no, no Abbas, I understand. What's Abbas, wrong with that? Abbas, I'm Abbas, Abbas. Let me, let me. Abbas, I understand what you're saying. You're saying <laughs> that while you are praying, okay, at some point within the prayer, right. you address Muhammad. That's what you're saying. Right. But we're saying it's still a prayer. Pray to Allah. Yeah. You're praying. But whilst you're praying, you know, it's not like, hold on, hold on, it's not like, well, just a minute, I'm going to let you respond. It's not like after you finish praying, you then say, then you start to address Muhammad. You're saying within the context of a prayer, right? So you are praying, yes? Within the context of the prayer, you then directly address Muhammad, who is not God. Okay, so, so you are praying and uh, to Muhammad. You see what that prayer is? The prayer is, may Allah's mercy be on you. Mm. So if he is a deity, if you worship in him, we could never just say, well, Allah's mercy be on you. Can you pray to a man? Sorry? Can you pray to a mere man? No, then you're playing with the words again here. If I'm praying, no, no, can no, I address no, my no, prayer no, to a, if you to a mere man? come here, you don't talk over me. You saying, do we pray to a man? I'm saying we don't pray to him. We address him and we pray for okay. him to Allah. For okay. example, I say, God win, may God be mercy on you. Am I praying to you or am I praying for you, but I'm addressing you? You wouldn't be praying. Let, let <laughs> you wouldn't be praying. God win, can you feel that? Ah, oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, can yeah. you feel that? Shit. Can you breathe? He's alive. So he is question, alive. So your there problem, is nothing wait, 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 wrong with respond, that. But what you do is, what you do is, in your prayer, you address, you mention a dead person. 
That is the issue. And you've been doing that since the time of Muhammad until the 21st century. That is the issue. Muhammad puts himself in the place where Muslims must worship Allah alone. But Muhammad says, you've got to mention me in your prayer while all prayers are belong to Allah only. Mention me too. That is the issue. Do you, see, do you, do you not see the problem with that? So, so Muhammad, he himself is commanding you to commit shirk. Because he's the one who commands you, right? Okay, so he's directly telling you, well, when you pray, make sure you mention me. Can I say? Okay, now. Do, do you not see the problem with that? No, no, no. Because you don't know something which I know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain that to you all. You are implying, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi says, mention me in your prayer. But how you mention me? Ask Allah to have mercy on me. So if he was telling us to do shirk, he wouldn't say, ask Allah to have, have mercy on me. You, he should have said, you should have asked me to help you. Now I'm going to say, this is an ambiguous thing. You are making a, a fuss about an ambiguous thing. I'm going to tell you something clear from the mouth of the Prophet He says, I'm going to give you a reference if you want. In Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number 3445. Now what, what the Prophet himself is telling us, if he's asking us to worship him or the otherwise. He says, narrated, look what it, what's your problem? You think they're doing a really bad job? The, the, one, the one is the eaten by gold or a, a other Quran, any other Quran. They, I think they can ask. Abbas, Abbas, focus, focus. Abbas, focus. Yeah, tell him. Yeah, 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 Abbas. Abbas. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Go, go on. Go on, Abbas. Go on, Abbas. Narrated Umar radiallahu anhu. I heard the Prophet saying, do not exaggerate in praising me. As a Christian praise the son of Mary, for I am only a slave. So call me the slave of Allah and his apostle. He's telling us, do not praise me. No, 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 doesn't say, he said, do not exaggerate. Doesn't say, do not praise me. What did he say? I am a slave of Allah. <laughs> yeah, he said, I am a slave of Allah. He said, he doesn't say, he where does it say that? Look, where does it say, do not exaggerate in exactly, praising me? But you can praise me. Yes, do, do not, as the what does the word exaggerate mean? Exactly. What does the word exaggerate mean? Can't you, you read it? Can't you see the whole context? Did you not just read it? Abbas, why you are Abbas? Why are you? You are really feeling insecure. Why are you playing around these the whole words? Point is telling you, do not exaggerate in praising him. Yes, you can praise him as a prophet. Uh -huh. what, what a, you can praise him as a as a prophet. Okay, like so we, so like do, we, do all the like praises like belong to Allah? Like we, like we. Do all the praises belong to Allah? According to Surah Fatiha, yes, brother. Do you order, no, I'm asking you, do you praise no, 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 in worship is only what, what does the word all mean? All. What does the word all mean? All in worship. What does all mean? The word all. Does it mean some? Does it mean just a human? Allah is talking about the worship. No, I'm talking about the praise. You said you spoke about praise. Surah Al Fatiha is the context of the worship. Yeah. When you're praying, no. you're praying. Abbas, Abbas, you, Abbas, you are, Abbas, you, 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 you're not being very, you're being disingenuous. Let me first respond what you break it down for us, Abbas. Here is the issue, Muslims. Listen very carefully. Prayer is part of the worship. Prayer is the part of the worship. Yes. Whatever do you do in your prayer, whatever, whatever you do in your prayer, that is the part of worship. Wait, wait. If you are talking to Allah, that is the part of worship. In your prayer, if you are praising to your wife, that is part of your worship. In your prayer, if you are speaking and mentioning the dead person as that dead person alive, that is worship. Therefore, Muslims, as you mention the dead person in your prayer, as you try to directly speak to that person in your prayer, which Muhammad tells you to do so, you are committing shirk with the no, permission he didn't. He didn't of Muhammad. Yeah. You are committing he... shirk by intentionally following the lines of Muhammad. Can I ask yeah. Yeah. He did not this tell is... us to worship. He never, ever, in any hadith, in any verse of the Quran. Is the prayer not 
you're part of the worship. Using your plane with the worship. No, no, you are. You are Abbas. You are Abbas. Abbas. Okay, okay, okay. Let's make it very clear. Abbas, if I if I stop praying, if I stop praying to God, okay, in front of everybody, I stop praying to God, and I start saying, oh, Abbas, and I direct the words Abbas, okay, and I start looking at you, and I start praying, and I, but I'm saying I'm praying to God, but I'm looking at you saying, oh, Abbas, who am I praying to? Allah, but what was... No, 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 no. I said, I said, listen to my question again. I said, if I say to everybody here, I'm going to pray to God, right? And then whilst I'm praying, I look at you directly and I say, oh, Abbas. And I continue my say, prayer. Say who, who am I speaking say to? What? Wait, wait. Just say all about. I'm asking you a question. If, you say all about. Who, if I say all Abbas, peace be upon you, Abbas. Peace of Allah be upon you. Peace be upon. No, I said. No, peace be upon. Abbas, 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 stop hiding. If I say peace. Mercy of, read the question. No, no, just, just don't let him, don't let him escape from this. Read it. Abbas, Abbas, if I say peace be upon you. Peace be upon your prophet and mercy of Allah, his blessings. Be upon you. Yes. Okay. So, Abbas, 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 stop hiding. You don't just stop there. See, the problem with the Muslims here is that it's embarrassing the fact that their own prophet commanded them to pray to him, and they have, and that's why they. It is embarrassing because they call us the Taweed. They call us to oneness of Allah. They call, they say Allah is one. So how can you have your prayers directed to someone other than Allah if this is not shirk? Sure? This is the problem. Let me make a point. Yes. Why are Muhammad so are you forces? Why I'm here? Why are Muhammad forces two points. Why himself into the Islamic worship? Why are Muhammad intentionally wants his followers to commit shirk? We are not surprised to see even Muhammad says if you are praying to Allah, if you are worshipping Allah, when you hear my voice, people, you need to respond to me, says Muhammad. What is that tell you about Allah and about Muhammad? How come your prophet becomes much, much important than Allah? Why is your prophet intentionally forcing you to commit shirk? So, 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 can you respond? Why is Muhammad more important than Allah? That's a good question. Why are you guys playing ping pong? No, we want to know. Why, why do Muslims treat Muhammad greater than Allah? Only Muhammad, no other prophet. So, can we, can we have an answer to that? So, so why? No, no. Do you understand the question? The question is this: Why do Muslims prioritize put Muhammad above Allah? That's the question. Can you answer that? That's the question. I want you to answer that. I'll tell you. No, no. You answer. Can I? No, no, no. Sahih Bukhari can answer that. Okay, let Sahih Bukhari. You don't want to answer. Let Sahih Bukhari. Yeah, Sahih Bukhari. Sahih Bukhari. Sahih Bukhari. Sahih Bukhari. Six. Six. Why? While I was in the mosque, while I was praying in the mosque, Allah's apostle called me, but I did not respond to him. Later I said, Oh Allah, oh Allah, oh Allah, I was praying. He said, did Allah say, did Allah say, did you respond to Allah and his apostle when he calls you? Uh. A man is trying to worship Allah yep, in the yep, mosque. Yep. Muhammad calls man, he finishes. His prayer, then goes to Muhammad. What Muhammad says to man? Where were you when I called you man? Didn't you know about Surah Ibrahim 24? When I called you, that is the voice of Allah. You must obey me. Not worship Allah, but you must obey my voice. Sir, why do you? So, why do you? So answer that. I want you to answer that. So why, why does he get presidents? Why does Muhammad get presidents? Go on, go on. He's gonna hang him. Now the question. I'm gonna hang myself. Okay. He does all the time. Okay. Now you say, why do we pray to Muhammad? Uh, pray why do you prioritize? Why do you? Pray? No. So you didn't listen. You're not even listening. So all that time you wasn't listening. 
Do you see the problem, Abbas? You do this all the time. He does it all the time. He didn't even, he didn't even hear the question. Why do you prioritize yes? Muhammad over Allah? Why do you, you hear the question? Why do you prioritize Allah over Muhammad? I mean, Muhammad over Allah. Muhammad. Why is Muhammad the God of Islam? Let me answer the first question, not this new question. Let me answer the first no, question. No, you couldn't answer the first question. He said, why we talk to Muhammad in our prayer? Why? It's supposed to be prayer, it's supposed to be for Allah. The answer is there. Allah told us in the Quran, chapter 33, verse 56, which you always quote, that Allah and His angels send prayer to Muhammad Oh, ah, there we go! Okay, go, 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 go. Finish, finish. <laughs> no, go, go. Finish, finish. Finish, finish, finish. Make your point. Make your point. Abbas, come on. What Muhammad says in the Quran, Allah talking about Muhammad. So go on, go on. Allah prays, yeah, go on. Allah, Allah and the angels pray, yeah, go on. Angry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, go on. Allah and His angels send prayers to Prophet. Prayers. All you who believe, yeah. send your prayers to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, when we do that in our prayer, we are following the command of our Lord, who says, "Send your prayers or blessings to the Prophet." So, in the prayer, we are following Allah's command, which is the worship to Allah, uh -huh. addressing the Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So, we are now worshiping Him. Secondly. You guys quote many things, but can you can never quote anything in the Quran and Hadith where Muhammad Sallallahu directly says, "Worship me, yeah, to, to supplicate to me." He never. Let on the call. on the contrary, I, I'll show you the Hadith on the contrary. On the contrary, let, 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 on the contrary, he says, "I'm going to give you another Hadith," and this is the best time when Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, "Yes, worship me." What happened in Abu Dawood? Hadith number 2140, a man came to Muhammad Sallallahu narrated Kais bin Saad. I went, he told Muhammad Sallallahu I went to Al-Hira, a village, and saw them prostrate. Brother, please. Come on, Abbas, quickly, quickly. Come on, raise your voice. Abbas, Abbas, quickly, come on. We've got one minute, go on, quickly. Just, just speak. It's all right, just but speak, speak his corner. Just Come on, just speak. If I talk over you, you will not like it. People are always talking. Just okay. raise up your voice. Brother, yeah. Muhammad Calm kissed down, the yeah. black stone. When Muhammad kissed the black brother, stone. Brother, give him a chance. So are the Muslims are kissing the black stone. Is not this worship? Okay. Is not this worship? Brother, continue, continue, continue. How does it feel? How does it feel to be heckled? I don't do that. Alright, huh? oh, so Abbas, Abbas, yes. should we just continue on? Because. So, so, so the question we're asking, okay, wait, 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 because, no, because we can't be prevented from. Alright, if you don't speak in the next one minute, we'll, well, that's up to you. You need to speak. Okay. Yeah. Um, a man came to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he said, I went to Al Hira, a village, and saw them people prostrating themselves before their leaders, the strap of theirs. So I said, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has the most right of have prostration made before him. When I came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I said, I went to Al Hira and I saw them prostrating. Can I prostrate to you? So what Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, tell me, if you were to pass by my grave, would you prostrate yourself before it? I said, no. He then said, do not do so. If I were to command anyone, but this is not the rest part is if I have to do Ah, Abbas, have you finished? So have you finished, Abbas? telling the man, don't prostrate me. Even if I die, would you prostrate? The man no, said no. So Muhammad Sassar telling him not to prostrate. Okay. The man want to prostrate. Yeah. So if he wanted people uh, to worship him, that's the best chance he would have said. Okay, Let respond. So you made two points. I'm going to respond to two points all together. Okay? Remember, God give us two ears, one month, so practice your he hearing yeah, skills. Listen, listening yes, skills. Exactly. Listening skills. <laughs> so, thank you for confirming. As Surah 33 verse 56 encourages you, encourages you to pray to Muhammad because even Allah prays for Muhammad. Yeah, so, so for an example. Therefore, therefore, you are following the example of Allah. Yeah. So Allah is asking you to commit shirk. Therefore, you are committing shirk. Well done. That's all I can say. Well done for following the teachings of Allah. Where Allah tells you commit shirk and therefore you do along 1.84 billion Muslims today. Second point. Let me read something for you.
for you. Listen this carefully, okay? Sahih Bukhari, not Abu Dawood, okay? Sahih Bukhari. Sahih Bukhari. Bukhari. I did not say Bukhari first. Did you ignore it? Six, six, one. We already established. We already established. Prayer is the worship in Islam, and dua is the essence of the worship. It must go to Allah alone. So here, what happens? Okay. Can you, can you give the reference again, please? Six sixty one. While I was praying in the mosque, Allah's apostle called me, but I did not respond. Later, I said, "Oh, Allah's apostle, I was praying." I am sorry, Muhammad. I was praying, therefore I didn't respond when you called me. This is what Prophet says. Listen now. Didn't Allah say? Muhammad uses once again Allah. Allah steps in as Muhammad cuddling back. Give your response to Allah and his apostle when he calls you. When Muhammad calls you, even though you are doing the essence of the worship, stop and come and follow what Muhammad is saying to you. When he says worship. That doesn't. When he says worship. Since when worship is not, prayer is not part of the worship of us. I can ask you that. Prayer is the part of worship. You can, you can walk around, you can harass around, but still. Muhammad tells you that you respond him even though you are worshipping. Did you see the Muhammad problem with that? Muhammad tells you address him, mention him directly in your worship. No, no, he's not saying he that. He's is not saying that. that. He's, he's saying just, that. He's not saying that. He says. He's saying he, that what, what, even he's in the grave. What he means is, what he means is, when Prophet calls you, you break your salah, address him. Okay, so who priority? Who priority? You know you have a bad No, but who is priority? No, because you never. Okay, Abbas, you never answered the question earlier. I asked you, who is priority? No, you didn't answer. Earlier on, earlier on, you said that you were going to respond to the question. Why is it that Muhammad has precedence to Allah? That's what we're asking you. That's your question. Your time. Making a statement here. What I'm saying in in our salah, if you're doing salah, and somebody knocking the door, anyone could be my wife, could be children, they locked outside. I am allowed to break my salah, address their problem, and come back and start my salah again. In Islam, you're allowed to. It's not only prophet. Start it again. It's not only prophet. You can break your salah. What Muhammad says is even if you see some animal around you, a danger around you, you can break salah for the safety, for the benefit of people. You can do that. That's what Prophet is saying when he's calling you. Break your salah and then you can start your salah again. He's the same. So, Abbas, 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 you're not, you're not listening. You're doing more talking than listening, and that's the problem, Abbas. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna wrap up. We're gonna wrap up. That there is a problem. There is a big problem with Tahwid. There is a big problem with shirk. And Muslims today are committing shirk by mentioning directly. And speaking directly to their dead prophet. Muslims are committing shirk. Muslims are committing shirk by putting Muhammad instead of uh, making Muhammad priority instead of Allah. Allah is the one who is responsible for whole creation according to Islam. Yet Muslims are just putting Allah on the side track and putting their prophet first. There is a problem, Muslims, and according to your teachings, problem is you are going to end up in hell, even though Allah is telling you to commit shirk, according to Abbas. <laughs> Still, you are going to end up in hell. Lord Jesus Christ does not want you to end up in hell. Lord Jesus Christ gave up his life for you so that you can spend eternity with him. Yes, yes. And that's the message we have. Turn away from this false prophet Muhammad who announces himself or commands the followers 
to ascension between God and man. It's through him for your sins. Muhammad can do nothing for you. He's dead in the grave. You can't speak to him. He can't communicate for you. He's in hell. But if you turn to Jesus Christ, he can be he can intercede for you. He's the mediator. He's the one that you need. Turn to Jesus. God bless. Thank you. Yeah.